Hello, my beautifuls. I am going on a date with my boyfriend today. So I figured that we could get ready together. I am out of breath because I was just scrambling to grab everything <laughs> and get it ready for the video we're gonna do. I already did my skincare, but we're gonna do my makeup, my hair, and then I'll show you my outfit, and then we're gonna put on perfume, and we're just gonna get ready, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get ready together, uh, and it's gonna be chit chatty. So anyways, how have you guys been? Welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, first up, going in with the Glossier Future Do. I really, really have been loving this stuff. I'm just going to do the makeup that I know my boyfriend really, really likes, which is basically what I do already. It's what I like. But look just how good this looks on my skin. I love it. Oh, I guess since I'm getting ready for a date, I can talk about like me and my boyfriend's relationship a little bit, just to have something to talk about. So me and my boyfriend met almost four years ago. We originally met for the first time like five years ago. If you guys don't know, I went to school at the beach. And so something that I was very, very lucky to have was a few friends that had boats, which is insane, <laughs> but we went out on boats a lot. And so my junior year of college, we went out on a boat and he didn't go out during the day because apparently he got really burnt the day before. If you guys don't know, he's a redhead, so he's very, very fair skinned. We went out during the day and he wasn't there, but like all of his roommates and his friends and stuff. And then we went on a night cruise as well. And so he actually went out on the night cruise and I was like, this guy's really, really cute. Told, you know, his roommate, my best friend or like my friend. And I was like, I think that your roommate's really cute. And he was like, well, he is single. And I was like, oh, okay. And I basically was like, don't say anything. I don't think I'm his type. What does he do? He literally turns around and tells him the next day. But that night we all like went back to one of their places and we were, I'll have everything I'm using linked down below by the way, cause I'll forget to say. And we were all hanging out and we were just watching like a movie or something. Like the big group of us, I think it was like 15 of us. After that, I like sat right next to him cause I wanted him to know, I was like, I think cute so I was like trying to be obvious about it but you know how boys are they they don't catch it I guess he was like texting his friend and he was like am I going crazy or is Kiana like getting closer to me like is she flirting with me and his friend was like no dude you're going crazy like she's not flirting with you you have just you know been drinking tonight like she's not and I was sitting there completely sober being like no I'm definitely trying to get with you like I'm definitely trying to show you that I'm interested the next morning all of a sudden I see that he's added me on snapchat which is really funny because if somebody were to add me on snapchat now like say that for some reason I needed to start over dating and they were like what's your snap I'd be like stay away but we were juniors in college so I'm like it's fine <laughs> and we just started kind of texting and he very very quickly asked me on a date and I was just like I'm not I, it sounds so bad but I wasn't used to being asked on dates because Boys are stupid, okay? Boys are stupid. And especially college boys. But anyways, he asked me out on a date and I was like, oh, okay, I'm very scared, but like, I'll go. And even whenever I was like asked to go on a date, it was always like, let's come over to my house and watch a movie. And I'm like a traditional girly. That's not cool for me. I'm, I'm kind of like, no, take me on a date. Like I want to be taken on a date, which was really hard to find in college because most guys, they weren't looking for a girlfriend. Finally, a boy's gonna take me on a date. And so we went on a date. He actually picked me up. He came to the door. He opened my car door. And all of this stuff sounds like the bare minimum. But for somebody who has not had the bare minimum in years, I was like, whoa, this guy's a coach. <laughs> and, um, so then we went on a date, we got like ice cream and went to the beach. We just sat at one of like the lifeguard stands and we were just talking and he was like, basically he just invited me on to another date. Like he definitely liked me. We ended up just going on a few more dates. And then this boy, this boy, I don't know why I stuck around so long. Actually I do because I really, really liked him. But anyways, hold on, I need to grab a mirror. Was taking a sweet time. I thought like within the first like week of us really talking to each other, he invited me up to his family's lake house with like all of his friends. And so I ended up going and then his friends like left after the weekend, but then all of our school was basically online because I think this was possibly during COVID. And, oh, my makeup actually looks really good. I was expecting it to be like weird and I needed to clean it up yeah so i went over to his lake house and then we ended up staying together for like the entire week 
and just I just very quickly realized I was like I think this might be my person which I, I'm a little crazy so I was like my brother's was my person where he really did impress me he was very very sweet very kind honestly he just seemed so genuine which was really really hard to find with a lot of the guys and maybe I just wasn't looking in the right places but I finally found a guy who like respected me respected my values and I don't know like wasn't pushy he was just really really sweet and so then we got back and that was like in late August, early September is when we first went on our very first date. This boy didn't ask me to be his girlfriend until December 3rd. December 3rd! Which I guess like is fine. You're in that talking phase, but I was like, this talking phase lasted almost too long. I was, I was literally about to be like, dude. And I knew that we were basically boyfriend and girlfriend because both of us had admitted like we're not talking to anybody else. But... I was, I was so annoyed. And then I met his family. And I was like, how am I not your girlfriend? I mean, in your family. So then I eventually was just kind of like hinting at it. And I was like, boy, boy, like speed it up, speed it up. I want to date you. And eventually he did ask. He was in the car and it was like midnight and we were just driving around and talking and hanging out. And then all of a sudden, will you let me date you? Like, can we actually make this official? And I was like, yes. Finally, home run, like, thank goodness. And honestly, like, the rest is kind of history. We moved in together. It was definitely controversial, I think. But I was also thinking about it, and I'm very traditional in a lot of ways, but I was like, I, again, this is gonna, like, strike some people wrong. He likes a lot of blush, so I'm putting a lot of, like, a red tongue blush. I think he likes a little sunburnt look. We moved in together, one, because we were both going to be, I didn't want to not be in the same city as him graduating college. Like, once we graduated college, he was going to be coming back to his hometown, or like pretty close to his hometown for work. I was like, hey, I can work from anywhere because I was starting to do influencing and I was also doing modeling full time. And so I was like, I can really just live anywhere in North Carolina and I'll be fine. And he always had a dream of buying his own house by the time that he was 23. And so he did it. We do have a house now and it's all in his name, but um, yeah, we live in a house now. And I think that that was like a huge, huge goal for him. Honestly, like I just, I was thinking about it. And I was like, I don't really want to live in an apartment by myself. We're also moving to a new city where I don't really know too many people. Like, I don't even know who I would room with if it's not him. So I was like, you know what? I went about and I asked my family and I was like, what do you think? And they kind of seemed like they were okay with it. I'm also the person where I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna be marrying this person, hopefully, you know, then I want as many experiences as possible with them, like under my belt before I marry them. Because I wanna make sure that without a doubt, this is going to work. I only wanna marry somebody once, you know, I only wanna get married once, I wanna get engaged once. So I wanna make sure that one, I'm not like really rushing into things, but also like I've, <laughs> tested things out. I don't even know. There's just so many different things that I feel like I want to experience with the person before I marry them. And it's really just because I'm like, I'm not getting divorced. I don't believe in divorces. <laughs> you know, like I, I want for myself. Oh, hi, Lainey. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No, 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 no. Right. There you go. That's our roommate's dog, which is the other part of what I was gonna say. We decided to move in together, but we're not like fully on our own. We do have a roommate that lives with us, which was, you know, one of our good friends. And he lives with us and it's honestly been really, really fun. And so it's like, if for some reason I need a break or we need our own space and our own time, like we can still give each other that. And I just think that it's so important to live, obviously do whatever you want. But I think that it's important to live with your partner before you get married, just because you need to work through those things. You also like need to know what it's like to live with that person. And if you even can, you may love them dearly, but they may have some habits that they just can't break and that you just cannot see through because loving somebody is loving, you know, everything about them. You are accepting their flaws and you are basically saying, I love all of these things about you. Not crazy about that one, but I love you so much that I don't care. Like I'm gonna work past it, we're gonna get past it. And sometimes there's just things that you can't work past and that's fine, but I wanted to see that for myself. And I definitely think when we first moved in, it was a little rocky because it's different getting used to living with a boy for the first time. I grew up in an all girl family, you know? So he grew up in an all boys family. So it definitely was different 
coming into it and now that we've lived together for over a year we've lived we moved in together in like January of 2023 and now it's March 2024 so we've lived together for you know over a year and I just think that it's been like the best experience because it's taught us so much and it's taught us how to work as a team together and yeah I just I really have nothing bad to say about it ask my parents you know their thoughts on it and then they seemed completely fine with it and then when I finally moved in all of a sudden they were like whoa that's not traditional and I was just like wait what's happening <laughs> and like we've talked through it now and I think it's funny but I think that they didn't move in together until they were engaged I think or married I can't remember but there was only like a ring on their finger and my whole point is like I'm gonna be with him no matter what I don't see what the difference of putting a ring on my finger is going to do like sure it's gonna add that extra little bit of security but I'm gonna get that anyways probably this year but like I'm gonna get that anyways so I just mm. anyways that's kind of the story of how me and my boyfriend met we just met through mutual friends on a boat <laughs> Okay, I will say the lip oil, like, it looks pretty on camera and it looks pretty, but it's so sticky. I'll talk about that in my next video, or like two videos from now, but it's so sticky. I think my camera's about to overheat. Just getting hot. Okay, I'm gonna do my mascara and freckles and set my face, and then we'll be back for hair. I'm gonna let my camera cool down. My camera is taking a really, really long time to charge, so you guys have moved to my phone. Hope that's okay. Let's do my, oof. <laughs> I've been getting my armpits waxed as you guys probably know because I talk about it nonstop at this point. But it's been great for just getting my armpits honestly lighter. So they're a little hairy, but it don't bother me. So if you ever wonder where all of my hair stuff goes, <laughs> it all goes in this huge thing. Mix the Sol de Janeiro leave-in because I really just, it's so thick and so I love it though whenever I mix it with water. This is like the best leave-in I think I've ever used. If there's anything that you can grab from this video at all, if you're looking at any of the products I'm using, this leave-in, it's the Sol de Janeiro one. I'll have it. It's like right here, somewhere right here. Um, it's so good. Not me doing that right over my camera. I'm such an idiot. If you've never watched one of my curly hair videos, people say I either have curly or wavy hair. I don't really give a crap what um, what it actually is called. I just know how to make it look nice. I drench my hair. It's the best way. That avoids frizz, makes sure that all of the products are applying evenly. And honestly, to me, it's just the best method. If I squeeze it, it would be dripping wet. Like, look at my neck. <laughs> it's, it's wet. Okay, I am going to use a curl cream. The tiniest bit. I really like this one. But with that leave-in, I can just find that these two products together can get kind of heavy. So I'm like putting that much on this side. A very very tiny amount i'm a sucker for products that smell really really good the best compliment i think that i can get is being told that my hair smells good one that they like my curls two that my hair smells good it's literally the best compliment i'm making sure that this goes up onto the roots though that's how we stop the frizz this makeup today is slaying it's so it looks so good i'm gonna regret saying slaying in like a year but oh well Try and make sure it doesn't stick on my scalp. I went back to her. I haven't used her in a really long time, but I went back. Okay, I'm gonna use this function of Beauty Mousse. I don't really wanna scrunch too much. I've been liking having my hair a little bit on the wavier side just cause it's getting longer. And so I feel like it makes it look longer whenever it stays a little wavy. I don't know, okay, I'm in between two different gels right now. There's this one, which is like a really, really runny gel. And then there's this one, which is a very thick gel. Not Your Mother's, I really, really like. If you guys haven't tried them, it's very, very affordable. And honestly, just great products. I also have their mousse. I just, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood to use it today. But anyways. Mm. Just for affordability, I'll do this one. Just to show you guys. Again, I take little amounts, that way I can actually like spread it evenly. And then you can always build up, but I hate putting so much on my hand the first time around. And then like having it all placed in one spot and then you're working to try and get rid of it and like spread it out where you could have just started with a much smaller amount in your hands. 
I think it's also because I do this. That's maybe why I don't really have a secure part either. It's because I flip it over so much. Now it's time to diffuse. My least favorite part, but a necessary part. I'm also going to use this heat protectant. It's the best, but it's so freaking smelly. I know it's a heat protected, but I'm not trying to catch my hair on fire. How's it heat protected but still flammable? Make that make sense. You may think that's a lot. <coughs> and it is. <laughs> but it works. It's so strong. And I'm gonna diffuse, but then I'll be right back after I'm done diffusing. It's just, I don't feel like anyone wants to watch that process. If you are curious though, and you wanna know exactly how I diffuse my hair, I do have a few different videos, I think up on shorts, but then also I have a few over on TikTok and Instagram. You may have to go digging for them, but they are there. I know she doesn't look dry, but she's dry. I've really been loving this oil they sent to me, which is crazy, but it smells so good to the point where I bought their hair perfume. So that's that in my, like in my car. I need to grab it though, cause that's definitely something I'm gonna use. Cause my boyfriend commented on that before and he was like, you smell really good. And I was like, it's my hair. <laughs> it's my hair. The bigger, the better with the hair. I like my hair I'm large and in charge. Oh, flip it this way. Honestly, she could use maybe the tiniest little bit more. It's a good makeup day. It's a good hair day. Oh, you know the funniest part? Brady doesn't know we're going on a date, but I know we're going on a date, <laughs> but he doesn't know we're going on a date. So he has yet to find that out. I always get so scared sometimes because I'm like, is it going to look good? Is it going to look bad? And we don't know. This is how I get my extra little bit of shine. It's crazy because I just bought a new bottle, but I swear this gets like more and more yellow the more you use it. Anyways, I love the Osea, what is it? And Daria Algae Body Oil. It's a pretty penny, but it's so worth it. This is like my fourth bottle of it, and I love it. I also think that it just adds the prettiest little glow. I promise I'm not flashing y'all. I'm just trying to put some oil on. My pump though on my last one was a little broken, so I'm glad that this one isn't. I'm starting to think maybe it was like a manufacturing issue, but, and it doesn't really dry. Like it doesn't dry greasy. It just dries so nice and moisturized. It just looks so good. The shine is just, so pretty. Oh, I have to put my earrings back in. This one I've actually had for a while, but I really like it. Wait, not in my hair. I'm gonna use the Jisoo, Jisoo hair perfume instead. She's good. He doesn't really have a favorite perfume. The one time that I asked him, because when he had COVID, he kind of like never got his scent back. So some of the perfumes he likes, I've realized are just the strongest ones I own. Like they're not up there right now, but one of the one that he loves, or this one he likes. He really likes Burberry Goddess to the point where he's bought it for me. And then he really likes this one, Flower Bomb, Ruby Orchid. This one actually smells really, really good. His favorites though were YSL Black Opium and YSL Libre. But I think it's because they're like the strongest ones, you know, that is the hair and the makeup and once the boy gets home i'm gonna convince him that we need to go out on a date because i look this good he's gotta take me out i'm thinking chewies we get this one appetizer it's basically huge nachos and we split it so good it's literally so good okay anyways if i don't see you guys before the date love you bye bye